What is up guys, Apathy back in the building with another YouTube video today, bringing you guys a tip video, one thing that I haven't done in a while, but it is a new game, and it, we're turning on a new leaf, and we're going to be talking about infinite warfare, how to improve your aim, and how to have the best shot, maybe some of you guys have been struggling, this game is a little bit different compared to Black Ops 3, uh, maybe uh, Advanced Warfare, so it's a little bit different, so today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips, and the best tip, and the one thing I can really tell you guys right now that's really helpful, is you want to play free for all. Okay, we're gonna put Genesis because if you know how Genesis is, it's basically Strike Zone from Ghost. It's a very close up map, probably the smallest map in this game so far. Then we're gonna go game mode. We're gonna put Free For All, of course. Then we're gonna go game rules. We're gonna put 10 minutes and we're gonna put score limit unlimited. Then something you should do, and I really recommend, is put the max health to 130. Now, the reason why is the TTK, for some reason, this game is really fast. You could either put 130, 150, you're feeling it, but I would recommend 130. Don't make anything too crazy. Just allow a bullet, maybe a bullet and a half extra uh, to get the kill. Then you're going to bot set up. You're going to play 11 bots, which is the max. You want to put the bot difficulty on regular because having it too high is way too difficult. The whole point of this thing is just you want to you want to shoot. You want to shoot around. You want to shoot your gun. It's not necessarily the, how difficult the bots are. I would recommend regular, hardened max. Do not do not put veteran. It's not really going to help you. The main goal is just to shoot. All right. If you have not played this map, this is basically a remake of Strike Zone. It's a very fun map. Very small. That way, you know, as soon as you go around the corner, you at least encounter one person. You know, you're constantly shooting. There's never a moment really where it's it's, it's going to be slow for you. And these bots are actually pretty damn good. I won't lie. I put the health on 130. And these bots are still working me a little bit. But this is something I recommend you guys do before going to bed. Uh, as soon as you wake up. As a warm-up. Like, this is, these are things you should be doing almost every day. You know, at least, I would recommend you doing le at least once a day. If you think your shot's a little shaky, trust me, guys. Doing these these routine things, like, especially if you don't play enough COD and, or you have not played enough COD, like, you're just getting into COD and, you know, haven't been really shooting much or you see, like, your shot's really bad for some reason. Like, this is something that's going to help so much and you guys are going to notice it within time. Like, it's not going to take one day. It's going to take a couple days and you're going to see, like, wow, what the heck? Like, my shot's starting to get really good. I'm starting to snap like crazy. And, how, and like I just need to keep doing this and what makes it awesome is that you could challenge yourself as well like there could be times where you know you let's say you do 10 minutes first time you get 100 kills you're like okay now next time you do 10 minutes you're like all right I'm aiming for 120 kills you hit 120 kills and you next time you do 150 kills and you constantly keep challenging yourself and that way you never like you just you keep putting this effort and you keep on trying to improve yourself and you just you're just gonna keep improving you're just gonna keep hitting these goals and you're just going to keep it getting better. And that's something I find really important. So one thing I always have to talk about is sensitivity. Now, if you guys played Black Ops 3, the sense is a little bit different in Infinite Warfare. The sense is about one to one and a half different in the sensitivity. I played on 6.6 in Black Ops 3. In this game, I'm playing on 5.5. I even thought about going down to 4.4. That's how fast the sense is a little bit in this game. It's a little bit different. So one thing I recommend is playing from a range 3 to 5 sensitivity. I wouldn't recommend playing any slower or any higher. 3 to 5 sensitivity is really good. Uh, you, most pros are playing on 4-4, so that's a sense that I would recommend you guys playing on 4-4. I'm playing on 5-5 because I feel like I can control it. I feel fine with it. I feel like I'm able to move a little bit fast and snap with it. It's not nothing too crazy. It's it's good. It's like perfect for me. It's not too fast, and it's just it's a, the right amount. It's not. It's, it helps me hit like some crazy shots and some good shots as well. So I'd recommend you playing on a good sensitivity. Remember three to five. I know some of you guys love playing on these crazy high sensitivities, and yeah, as cool as it looks and as fun as it is, sometimes you're going to miss shots, and your shot is just not going to be as consistent. If you plan to be a competitive player or you want to get into competitive, playing on such a high sense, it's not going to always work out. You know, there's just one in like a thousand or two or a couple thousand players that could kind of control it and play well with it. But as a as a shot, like for your shot to be consistent and really good, you know, especially in the competitive scene when you need to hit some long range gun sh gunshots or shots sometimes. It's just better to stay in a more consistent and lower sensitivity. Give me this five piece. Come on. F what? Of course, he guns at me. Another tip I could give you guys is jumping around. is It's not as effective in this game. I feel like like you could hop around. Hopping is really good in this game. For example, this this is a single hop around corners. It's really good. You know, it's kind of like a COD four hop where if you ever play COD four, it's just really effective. It's it's far and fast too. It's not like you're just jumping like really small or like a small distance. You're actually flying pretty far. Or you can even slide around corners. And I feel like that's really good. For the reason I tell you this, because I feel like flying like this and challenging, kind of like a Black Ops 3 style, isn't as effective in this game. Like, yes, you can hit your shots, and yes, it, it works sometimes. But there's just times in this game, and when I've played like really good players and competitive players, 
usually the people on the ground are gonna kill you if, let's say they're just aiming at you like this and you're just flying high like they hit their shots easier it's most of the time it's easier for them to hit the shots and i feel like you get a little bit of a drop and auto aim when you're flying when you're sh when you're shooting while you're in air now i don't know if they did that because they're trying to make it more boots on the ground and they somehow implemented this type of system and we don't even know i don't know if that's true i don't know it's a placebo effect and all of us pros think that because almost everyone i've talked to feels that way but uh usually flying around and shooting like like this like yes you i'm shooting these bots and it looks pretty easy right now but if you're shooting a player that's strafing back and forth and hitting every single shot it's going to be really difficult to win that gunfight so i really recommend you guys sort of playing like the ghost play style like it's boosting the ground yes you can fly around corners sometimes and you can wall run high and do all these fancy things but try not to take it as a black ops 3 style try to take it more of a boot to ground game and just sort of run around and just slide around like you don't necessarily just basically slide around and shoot like only wall run when you kind of have to or when you want to get really high in the wall now another thing about this game is i really recommend is leading your shots now if you do not know what leading your shots is which it's kind of self-explanatory it's basically someone's let's say flying around or just walking around you kind of want to lead forward like you want to kind of you want to lead your put your shots kind of a little bit after him not necessarily in the center always especially if they're a little bit farther you want to lead a little bit ahead of him like where you think he's going where he's going to move and let's say he's moving here i'm going to sort of lead a, a little bit ahead like ahead of him and the reason why is in this game especially with subs right now the drop off is pretty like the auto aim drop off it's pretty bad like for some reason with subs you don't get much auto aim from distance uh, i think that's something they need to buff because ars right now are pretty dominant uh just really just very powerful and just has good auto aim can kill from mid to long range like nothing you know this gun is a two bullet kill like these guns are just so good like the only thing the subs benefit is like close range and even then like ars can can compete which it shouldn't really be like that like an ar be that dominant but basically you know with the auto aim you know you guys probably tested it and noticed the auto aim isn't too good in this game i guess they try to reduce a little bit of black ops 3 to make uh make it a little bit more skillful and on top of that i guess make uh, flying high and wall running a little bit more useless because it takes a little bit it t it's harder for someone to wall run high and hit all the shots so that's something you should definitely uh try to do always try to lead your shots and make sure you know you're trying to follow him not necessarily always on the center because that's going to make you miss some shots sometimes just because of how bad the auto aim is in this game so that's something you just got to get used to the more you play obviously the better you're going to get at it now the last thing before i go is just a little bit side note a little bit a little bit of an extra tip doesn't really help you with winning gunfights uh or it doesn't really help you with your aim necessarily but i think pre it is a very good thing when it comes to one year gunfights just pre at certain angles uh the ttk aka the time to kill is really fast in this game so let's say you're in the corner and someone shoulder peaks shoulder peaks is basically this and in black ops 3 or in some other games you're able to get away with it just because you don't die that fast so but usually you know let's say you have an ar posted up like this and a guy's shoulder peaks just a little bit just goes up uh, and you and you hit your shots with a very strong ar most of the time you're gonna kill him before he can run away so that's a little bit of a of a cheap uh, tip I could give you guys, but just something for you to know and just overall just try to preem a little bit more You know, I think preem is really good in this and it's gonna be a lot more effective in this game Because you know, like I said, there's not like everywhere in black ops 3 You can just wall run super high and wall run everywhere But just preem in down like a lane preem in down a hall you know, it's going to be a lot more effective in this game. So make sure to do that as well. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I've been grinding Infinite Warfare a lot. Decided to help you and give you guys some useful tips and some tips that really help your shot. Remember, do this. Try to do this at least once a day. You're going to see a drastic change in your shot. You're going to see some improvement. Uh, you know, I really try to help you guys. I'm going to try to keep bringing out some tip videos. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed today's video. And, you know, just do it. Trust me, guys. You're going to come back to me one day and be like, yo, Apathy, those tips really helped me out. Yo, Apathy, man, that shit was freaking awesome. Like, my shot's so much better now. Like, I just I just, I just beat some good-ass kids. So, remember, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. This has been your boy, Apathy. Hope you all have an amazing day. And I'm out. Peace.